General John J. Pershing is one of the most renowned military officers in U.S. history, and he played key roles in both the creation of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the burial of the unknown. Pershing was born in Lackley, Missouri in 1860. After earning a teaching degree, he enrolled at the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1880 after earning the highest score within his congressional district on the school's entrance exam. After he graduated from West Point in 1886, the Army sent him to New Mexico to serve with the 6th Cavalry. Over the next 30 years, Pershing had led major military campaigns during the Spanish-American and Philippine-American Wars, as well as an attempt to capture Mexican revolutionary leader Francisco Pancho Villa, often called the Pershing Punitive Expedition. By 1917, when the United States entered World War I, Pershing had risen to the rank of Major General. Secretary of War Newton Baker named him Commander of the American Expeditionary Forces, the portion of the U.S. military that fought in Europe. Under Pershing's leadership, the AEF proved to be a decisive factor in the defeat of the German Army on the Western Front. On September 1, 1919, Congress honored Pershing for his exemplary service by bestowing on him the title General of the Armies of the United States, a new rank created specifically for him. Building on his military leadership in World War I and previous conflicts, Pershing devoted his later career to honoring the memory of those who served with him. In 1920, he testified before Congress to support the creation of a tomb in the selection of a single unknown soldier to represent the American war dead. On November 11, 1921, Pershing marched with President Warren G. Harding at the front of the unknown soldier's funeral procession. During the ceremony, he presented a wreath and sprinkled soil from France onto the casket as it descended into the crypt. In following years, Pershing continued his efforts to honor and remember American sacrifices in World War I. In 1923, he became the chair of the American Battlefield Monuments Commission, which oversaw military cemeteries and monuments in Europe. Prior to his own death on July 15, 1948, Pershing requested to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery in a section where he would be surrounded by World War I soldiers. Despite his high rank, Pershing chose to have a simple government-provided headstone, like those of the men who lay at rest around him. General John J. Pershing's grave is located here in Section 34.